Welcome to the March for Jobs, Justice, and Climate. Let's hear you shout. What's up? Climate change has happened. Climate catastrophe is a reality. It's a reality for the famine struck families in Djibouti, in Somalia, in India, and in Ethiopia. It's a reality for the flooded families in Bangladesh and in the Philippines. It's a reality for the Pueblos in El Salvador and in Guatemala. It is a reality for the Wet'suwet'en people. It is a reality for our Dine Kree sisters and brothers in the Athabasca. It is a reality for the Anjanam First Nations facing the massive pollution crisis. It was such a powerful, moving, emotional march today. You could just feel the power. And being at the front, and all you just feel this great energy behind you and that is so symbolic of what us as in indigenous people need right now um, especially with reconciliation being so much in the news lately is that we need that support behind us we need people to be cheering us on we need people to be standing with us we need people to recognize that we're all a part of the earth it's not just indigenous people we carry that message. We hold that light that's been kept under the bushel. Take that reality into consideration. And what we build from here on in has to be based on the rights of Mother Earth and in the laws of Mother Earth. My heart and my spirit uh, is, is connected to the land, constantly reminded by uh, clan mothers that we're doing this for the ones that can't speak, or we've, we've stopped listening. The trees, uh, the medicines, the animals, the water, the, the stone people, we're doing this for them. Canada's prosperity has been on the backs of indigenous people. Our lands and our resources, our children. 3,000 children murdered in the Indian Residential School. Over thousands and thousands of indigenous women murdered and missing. This is part of the problem. The solution is you. It has to come from you, the constituents of your politicians. And finally say no to the injustice that's going on. No to the exploitation of the resources. Yes to respecting indigenous people's human rights. Yeah.